I got a vibe today, nobody blow my heart today hey guys welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel so i know you guys might be a little confused about the intro but it's just because i do have a new hair channel so if you guys are interested in checking out my new hair channel i'll be posting all my hair content on that page so make sure you guys go check out the description box down below and yeah subscribe to that channel but today i'm going to be doing an install on one of my brand ambassadors and the company i will be working with today is beauty forever hair as you guys seen at the beginning and this is the wig one thing about this wig y'all just look at it look how good it looked on my hand like the lace was super thin like the knots were super small and that's what we like okay period so before we get into the install we do have to customize the wig so i am going ahead and bleaching the knots i'm going in with my l'oreal quick blue bleach and my 30 volume developer i always tell y'all i used to use 40 volume developer but i mean i still do but i feel like 30 just works better for me just because 40 doesn't take long to bleach and i'll be doing other things while my wig is bleaching so i feel like 30 volume is better for me so i'm going ahead i only use like one and a half scoop i used a little bit of 30 volume developer and i'm gonna mix that until i get to a consistency that i want honestly i can't even tell y'all how much bleach to use or how much developer to use because sometimes i use not enough or too much and then i'll just have to go back in so you know just take your time and just go by what you think honestly that's the best i can say to you but i'm just going ahead and smoothing the bleach onto the lace making sure it's covering the knots and not getting on the hair this is how it looked and i left that on for about 30 minutes until i rinsed it off and i'm just gonna rinse it off with water this is how the knots looked and last time in the last install i did on my other brand ambassador i forgot to use shimmer light shampoo so i made sure i didn't forget this time and i went ahead and i actually washed it out with shimmer light shampoo twice and then i'm gonna go ahead with my shampoo and conditioner and then I'm gonna let the wig air dry. As you guys can see, it doesn't look brassy as it did before I used the Shimmer Light Shampoo and that's the whole point of the Shimmer Light Shampoo. Next, we're getting into the part that can make or break. One of the parts that can make or break your install, the plucking, okay? So right here, I'm going in with my hot comb and I used to use water to pluck my wigs, but I feel like using a hot comb and the tweezers and stuff like that just works way better and you don't have to wait until the hair gets dried. So I've been using a hot comb to, you know, smooth out everything after I'm plucking. And it works better because you can see exactly what you're doing and how it's gonna look while it's dry. I'm personally plucking in sections. I feel like plucking in sections works so much better because you're focused on one section at a time so i typically do the side first and you want to pluck the sides a little thinner than you would the middle just because it is the sides like you're you're trying to mimic a natural hairline basically so you know you're going to pluck the sides a little um a little thinner than you are going to pluck the middle of the wig so yeah that's what i'm doing right here like i said the hot comb works way better so i suggest you guys trying that out and then i'm going to pluck the other side and then we're going to get right into the install
the girls in her sweet looking cute as always and right here i'm just blow drying the hair a little bit i was really just trying to pass time because she was running late behind so yeah and it was actually her birthday so she had other appointments to go to and i wasn't tripping about her being late because you feel me i didn't have nothing to do all day anyway so yeah i'm just blow drying the hair and then i actually braided her hair back before we got into the install and the install came out really good y'all like y'all gonna see the tea i did the ball cap method i actually used the glue on the cap method meaning like i used my ghost bond and i outlined her hairline with the glue and then i sat her underneath the dryer personally i've tried the method a couple times and i can't just use the glue so i usually tend to use the glue and a, a little bit of got to be spray with the glue and i feel like that just works better for me so if i don't put the got to be spray with the glue I just have to use the got to be spray using glue i don't know how y'all do it but it's a little difficult for me i don't know why after that is fully dry we're gonna go in with our la girl pro concealer and you just find a color that's closest to your client or to yourself and then we're gonna put that all over the wig cap i kind of didn't really put it over the glue as much i just put it behind the glue because the part where the glue is is really clear so it wasn't really no need for me to put the makeup over it but you can if you want to to me it doesn't really make any difference but yeah So I'm just taking my alcohol and I'm cleaning up her forehead from all the makeup and oils and stuff like that before I go and put the glue down. I'm putting her wig on and I got really excited when I put her wig on because it looked really good and she was scared because she thought I messed up on something but no the wig looked really good she was really happy and that's how you know the install finna look good if y'all put the wig on and y'all it just looks good before the install even happen okay. So yeah I'm just cutting off the lace. It just works better for me like cutting off the lace a little bit beforehand and then i'm just going to put the glue on and i'm doing that in sections also and then i'm going to put the elastic band on after So when it comes to blow drying, I'm going in between warm air and cool air. And the warm air is basically to just warm up the glue a little bit. And then the cool air is basically to lock it in. Then I'm going to go in with my elastic band and leave that on for about, I left it on for about eight to 10 minutes and then took it off and then cut the lace off.
I'm using a razor to cut the lace off. I feel like it works way better than trying to use scissors. But if scissors are the only thing you have, just make sure you aren't cutting in a straight line because you don't want to be looking like you just had a lineup. tips and I'm cleaning up any leftover glue or makeup that was left on her forehead from after I cut the lace off and then I'm gonna go in and take out any baby hairs that I want to use and then I'm gonna go in with a smaller elastic band to hold the baby hairs down and to melt the lace for a little bit longer Y'all can't tell me this don't look good. Like, ah, I know it's not up close. Well, this is up close, but yeah, it looks really good. I just took, I just pinned her hair up and then had her hold down the baby hairs, put the smaller elastic band on. I'm so glad I bought different size elastic bands because I really feel like they really make a difference for real. So this is where I'm gonna style her hair. I'm just doing a little style. It's like a flat twist in the front with these cute little clips at the top of ponytails y'all gonna see how it comes out i don't even know how to really explain it but y'all gonna see how it looks it came out really cute i actually had to redo it but i couldn't show you guys me redoing it because my camera actually died so yeah i actually redid the twist because i was gonna do four at first but i only had space enough to do three so i had to redo it but y'all gonna see how it looks at the end Okay, I forgot to tell you guys this, but I'm going to be using a green bundle and I'm going to be taking some tracks and putting it in between the wig to give it like a green highlighted type look for her. And then the clips I'm going to be using is also green. So yeah, like let's really get into the look. Okay, period. So yeah, keep watching. Y'all going to see. And I'm going to come back when we're doing the baby hairs. So this is how the green highlights looked afterwards and now we're gonna get to the flat twist in the front.
so yeah flat twist done these were the green clips that i put in like i told you guys i had to redo the flat twist because they weren't like in the middle like the middle twist wasn't in the middle basically so i had to redo it but right here i'm just going i cut down the baby hairs i'm using my wonderful wonderful investment that i'm really glad i invested in um the little tiny flat iron that junk works wonders okay period so i'm just going in swooping her edges and then you guys are going to see the final result Okay, period. I bet it's pretty hell. Yes. But yeah, guys, that's the end of my video. Make sure you guys like, comment, share, and subscribe. Let me know what you guys think about the look. Check out the company. And until next time, Desi out. Way too motherfucking wavy. I can't imagine myself being basic. I feel like the man when I'm thumbing through faces. Hide all this pain in this blood.